Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today for the first of only four Alliance War videos for Season 29. So this season I've opted to just do highlights of each week of wars, because a lot of the fights are just really similar. So I think this will just showcase some of the more interesting fights, and just overall be more entertaining. So in this video I'm going to be showing six fights. This first one is Domino on the new Path 2 in Section 2 taking it with ghost and this is a fairly standard ghost fight but just wanted to showcase what happens if you do manage to mess up the combos for the block penetration see there we block three hits and lose 10 percent overall this is not that difficult of a fight but just thought it's a good warning sort of for making sure you manage the charges on that node so this is also from the first war this is a Nick Fury on node 49, which is Hazard Shift and Stun Immunity. So Ghost is not really regarded as a Nick Fury counter at all, and that is because he counters Miss when he has 5 tactical charges. However, because of the Hazard Shift node, Ghost is actually really solid for this fight. And that is the reason why there, because the special 2 can just pretty much completely annihilate his first life. Now, probably was a bit overboosted here, and did get pushed as special 3, but that is not a particularly big issue. Here I'm just going to go for a combo, phase off the debuffs, and the special 3 kills him. So yeah, that is Nick Fury on node 49, and yeah, Ghost is definitely the best option for this matchup, even though Nick Fury is somewhat designed to counter her. So these next three fights are all going to be from the second war and this one was against Agent Graphite and if any of you have been watching my videos over the last few seasons you'll know that this is the alliance that I always give up deaths to. I believe they were actually the only alliance I've died to since season, since season 24 war 4. So yeah definitely a bit of foreshadowing there. But yeah, this first fight up is a Super Scroll on Nave 46. So he has Buffet, Kartness Fawns, and Strike Counter Combat Power Rate. And we're using Black Widow Clairvoyant here. So Black Widow sort of completely counters the Kartness Fawns aspect of the node. And she is also a great counter for Super Scroll in general. However, she does not really counter Buffet. Now Strike Counter, because she's getting so much power, because I'm running 5 out of 5 Mystic Dispersion, and also from all the buffs he's trying to get while buff immunity is up, we can quite easily manage the Strike Counter charges. And you'll see throughout this whole fight we've just been cycling special 2s over and over again. And because of that we haven't really been dexing very often. See there we throw 1 combo and get to a special 2. And yeah, this fight is extremely simple with Claire, but it is a pretty fun one to take. Now the next fight I'm going to be showing is a Jabari Panther on the Rage Miniboss. Now I have taken this fight before, but it is a matchup that I've got quite a few questions about. And that is using Black Widow here because... People just don't really think that Black Widow will work for this fight at all. However, as you're going to see, she is a very solid option for it. So it is important that you have the White Magneto pre-fight here. And my preferred strategy is just to basically stay in the poison phase for the entire fight. And that basically means that you're not really going to have to worry about Jabari Panther throwing any special attacks, which is going to greatly decrease her chance of going into the hunt. And it also means that you will have higher uptime on buff immunity during the fight. Because you're just going to be getting more power. Now the two ways that Jabari Panther will gain cleanse charges in this fight. Is if you throw a shortened combo after a parry. So like medium, 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 light, medium. The debuff will apply while the cleanse is already active. And then that will get cleansed and give her hunt charges. Or if she throws off the special one. 
However, this will have to happen quite a few times before she actually enters the hunt, which is sort of the main threat in this matchup, because that's why she goes full on stun immune, as well as um, turning off the dexterity mastery. But yeah, as you can see, as long as you're playing this right, just not really baiting out many specials, you can just completely control the fight, not really have to worry about anything. So the third fight of this war from Agent Graphite I'm going to show is this Weapon X on node 49. Now we're taking this with Red Hook and I have done this fight before and it went quite well. And you're going to see quite a few mistakes in this one. So the start of the fight is pretty standard. Bait out a heavy attack at the start, then bait out a second one. He'll go unstoppable on that. And while you can punish the unstoppable, you don't really have to. But you see here, he's not throwing the special one. Now Weapon X usually throws the special one at his first opportunity. And what I should have been doing earlier on is just pushing him into Berserk. Letting him use the special, and then use the special one as an in like we did there. But we wouldn't have been backed up, and now we've lost the entire invulnerability boost. But at this point, the fight is still in control. Just need to keep landing intercepts, baiting out special ones. But I am definitely playing a bit scared without the invulnerability. There I think I was hoping that I could just wait Berserk out. But obviously when he's got 40 charges and you're already fairly backed up, that's not going to work. Go for the special 3 and then take a 40,000 special 1 to the face and bleed out. So yeah... Always die to this alliance, and this season is no different. So, in that fight, I really should have just pushed him to Berserk without trying to bait the special one, and then obviously just shouldn't have taken the special one to the face. Now, this is the only fight from the third war that I'm going to be showing. This war was fairly basic, just Doom fights that I've done a million times before, apart from this one. This is a Mangog on the Power Game mini boss. Now this is a really common placement for Mangog. Probably there, probably about half of the time I would say. And usually you would use a magic for this fight. However, Doom is actually a pretty solid option for it as long as you play it well. The most important thing here is to not let him use a special 2. Now if you use an invulnerability boost, the special 3 is completely safe to, for him to throw. Uh, the special 2 is unblockable and it's 5 hits and it also deals a burst of damage. So because it's Doom he will probably survive 1. But yeah, you really don't want him to use a special 2. Now you notice I used a Mystic Power Boost here. And that is also quite important in this fight. Because Mangog actually gets reduced combat power rate. So the Mystic Power Boost means that I can go for a Short and Doom combo, something like Medium, Medium, Light, Medium, Medium. And that just means that I will not be draining Mangog below 3 bars of power very far. And then he will definitely be at 3 bars for my special 1. Now here I do make a bit of an error and I go for the special 2 rather than special 1. So immediately turtle up after and yeah, the fight goes fine. It was a 5 star, but that matchup can quite easily be scaled up to a rank 3. So we ended up winning War 1 and 3 and losing War 2. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in Week 2.